Hello and welcome to Carbide Answers. This is Nick and today we're going to go over setting up and troubleshooting your induction switches. So the first thing that we want to make sure is that everything is plugged in properly. You'll see on this adapter that we provide with the induction switches that there are indicators on the bottom that show which switches should go in there and they should be labeled. So once you've gotten that, this is going to plug into the top up here you'll see a black slot on the very top. So go ahead and push that into there. And now that that's set. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna check and see if the switches are working properly. So what you can do if you have your switches set up, um, even if they're not hooked up, we provide a small wrench to um, tighten a couple things down that wrench will actually make these come on so you'll see let me get one that's a little bit easier to view you'll see if you touch to the side a light will come on to show that it's it's basically uh activating so all the switches will do that the only one that's kind of hard to get to is the z it's um uh, it's in the back of the of where the spindle plugs in so it's going to be a little bit difficult to get to that one, but I wanted to show also if you activate one of the switches, not only does a light come on on the switch, but a light will come on on the board as well. So as long as you're getting a light on the board and a light on the switch, you're pretty much all set to go.